Hi guys, welcome to another WeView basic training video. In this episode, we're gonna talk about how attack and defense work. Now, uh, in order to understand what's going on when combat is happening, you really need to understand the basics of attack and defense, and this is key in helping make you a better player. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna have you check the statistics on a particular unit. So in order to do that, you just select the unit and, the, and then hit the I button in the top right hand corner. That will bring up the unit statistics screen. Now this screen is broken into several parts. You've got the basic section, which talks about hit point, move, attack range, and that sort of thing. You've got the attack section, which we'll talk about more in a second. You've got a supply section, which talks about the uh, supply usage and those details. Then you have a defense section, once again, we'll talk about that more. And then finally, you have a description that kind of talks about in general what the unit is used for or any special abilities that it has. So looking at the attack section, this attack number is the raw number that represents how much power a unit has when shooting at a specific type of unit. And this is calculated once per minute. On the defense side, the defense number is a number that determines how much of that incoming attack is mitigated or reduced before it's applied to the target's health. And finally, the defense type determines which attack value is being used by the attacking unit. <clears throat> so let's take a look at this defensive formula here. In this case, we're using a light tank and um, his defense value is a thousand. And the formula for that is defense divided by a thousand plus defense. So in this case, you'd be 1,000 divided by 2,000 equals 0.5 or a 50% damage reduction or damage mitigation. So let's take this, let's take us through a combat uh, example. Uh, in this example, we're gonna have an anti-tank gun in the open firing at a rebel light tank. So looking at the two stat sheets for the two different units, we'll find out that the defense type of the light tank is armored, which determines that the attack stat for the anti-tank gun is armored. Now, fortunately, that's the only thing that the anti-tank gun can shoot at, so that makes this example pretty simple. So once a minute, the game is going to take the attack value from the unit, and it's going to calculate the defense value or the defense mitigation of the target. And at the end of that minute, the attack value will be applied to the defense value, reduced by its value, and then that number gets applied to the defender's hit point. So in this case, after one minute of combat, the 1150 attack value is going to result in 575 points of damage applied to the defender's hit point. So how does this help you? Well, the first thing is you wanna make sure that when you select a target with a unit, that that unit has a high combat value or a high attack value versus that target. So make sure the right stuff is shooting at the right stuff. And number two is you wanna make sure that you know how to increase your stats. Obviously attack and defense are very important. So let's look at how we increase those. For increasing the attack, there are seven ways to do that. You got tactics cards, class text, generals, expansion, technology, battlefield technology, and then woods for uh, non-tank units. And for defense, you have tactics, cards, class text, generals, technology, and battlefield tech, and also expanding. Thanks for watching, and I hope this was helpful.